Don't look now, but we've got a new number one ranked team in the nation, the Oregon Ducks. And they're a three touchdown favorite at home against a top 20 opponent in Illinois. Is there value with the big dog? Does Oregon continue to roll? I've got the answer. I've got a point spread winner for this game with analysis coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your Saturday afternoon matchup on CBS National TV, 3.30 Eastern, number 20, Illinois, at number one, Oregon. And on the surface, this might look like a big number, 21 and a half for a top 20 opponent. And the public is actually pretty heavy on Illinois this week, but I think we fade this public dog, as I always love to do, and there's several reasons why. First of all, I run 10,000 simulations through my proprietary database model for every FBS game every week. And on average, I've got Oregon winning this game by over 26 and a half points. So there is value at the current number of 21 and a half. Now, I would definitely like minus 21 or less, and we might get there. You know, I didn't think this would hit that key number, but the fact that the public appears to be on the big dog Illinois, we might see a 21 by kickoff. So wait till Saturday afternoon, see if you can maybe get that key number of minus 21. But either way, if you're going to play it, I would lay it with the Oregon Ducks. And there are several reasons why. Uh, first of all, I'm not sold on this Illinois team. And if you look at recent common opponents, you know, common opponents sometimes doesn't do much. But when they play the, uh, the same team basically in a t- one-week span, a six-day span to be exact, the numbers do jump out at you. In fact, these teams just played Purdue the last couple weeks. Um, as we know, Illinois was fortunate to escape with a 50-49 to home win as a 22.5-point favorite. Purdue misses the extra point, the two-point conversion in overtime. Otherwise, they went outright. Illinois gave up over 500 yards of offense in that game. And then just six days later, Oregon plays them last Friday night, and they shut them out 35-0 on the road. Um, So pretty stark contrast there. Now, Oregon did allow over 200 rushing yards to Purdue. So Purdue's offense looks like it's waking up. They're off this week, by the way. Uh, Much needed buy for Purdue. So maybe the Boilermakers are a play on team going forward. We can talk about that more in some videos next week. By the way, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on that. But still... Um, Barely beating them by one in overtime and then beating them by 35 on the road. Uh, Oregon does obviously have a huge common opponent edge here in that recent game against Purdue. I don't read too much into that normally, but the fact they just played the same team back-to-back weeks. Of course, Purdue was coming off an overtime loss. wasn't a great spot on Friday night. But there's other reasons I like Oregon as well. Not only is there line value, uh, but you just look at the overall matchup here. The Ducks are a legit team. Um, Are they the number one team in the country? Who knows, right? There's, I believe, what is it, seven undefeated. I was counting it up earlier for my college football top 25 video, um, and that includes uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I think it's, what is it, seven? No, nine? I don't know. I'm losing count here. But anyway, Army and Navy, both undefeated, barely in the top 25. You got Pitt, you've got Indiana, you got BYU. They're phony, by the way. Check out my BYU Central Florida free play video here from earlier in the week on Wager Talk TV. And then as you crack the top 10, you see Iowa State, Miami, Penn State's third, and then Oregon. And you got to put them ahead of Ohio State, right? Because they played each other. And then um, you've got other teams like Georgia who has a loss as well. So Oregon deserves to be number one. Whether they're the best team in the country is debatable, but they are a really good team. Averaging 34.5 points a game, uh, almost seven yards per play. Really good passing attack. Nine yards per pass attempt uh, this season. Illinois' pass defense has been mediocre. The run defense is slightly above average as well. We saw what a bad Purdue offense did, putting up over 500 yards. So I think Oregon can get a lot of points here. And the question becomes, can Illinois keep it close? They do have a decent passing attack, but Oregon's pass defense has been fantastic this year. Overall, they're giving up just 16.5 points a game. And once again, I project a 26.5 point win. Would like minus 21 or less. So wait, see if this public dog maybe brings the line down. But I would fade the public in this one. Take a look at the Oregon Ducks on Saturday afternoon. That kicks off at 3.30 Eastern on CBS. Now, keep in mind, my strongest best bets each week are reserved for my clients. Most of these spotlight TV games don't make the cut, but I always want to give you as many free opinions, leans, let you know games I'm considering and where I think there is some value, especially on these top 25 matchups. In fact, if you want my thoughts and my power ratings, my projection on every top 25 matchup, be sure to click subscribe and click that bell for an instant alert so you know when my college football top 25 video is posted for this Saturday and also my NFL Fade the Public video for this Sunday is ready. So click that bell for an instant alert when you subscribe. Comment below if you're liking these spotlight solo videos, these free play videos throughout the week. I try to do a lot of the national TV games, of course, during the weeknights as well. Comment below, let me know, and I will keep them coming. If you're finding it useful, comment below because I read the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like, as well, as always appreciated. Smash that like, thumbs up button. Boom, it took one second, you did it. Much appreciated. 
Now, if you do want to win consistently, though, you need my client best bets. I've done this for 29 straight years as a full-time professional handicapper, and I am number one this year in all sports profit. We're up over 170 units already on all sports, and we still have two months to go this calendar year. And it's not a, it's not a fluke. It's not a surprise. Number one in baseball. Number one in football profit this year. Number one in the NBA all-time in the history of Wager Talk. Up over 200 units in the NBA alone the last three years, and the NBA just started this week. In fact, the next several weeks are the only time of the entire year you can get football, baseball, and basketball all going at once. So this is a great time to grab an all-sports package, and I've got two very special offers this weekend for you at wagertalk.com. Now, I know I gave you the one-year option. That is the real investment approach. Gets it down to a dollar a play. But I know some of you want to start smaller. You've been watching winter after winter pass you by. Well, now's your chance to get on board. I have a 30-day all-access with an instant $50 discount this weekend, and there's no promo code needed. Once again, go get a 30-day all-sports and get an instant $50 discount. You'll see it on my page right now. The slash-through price gets it down to about $8 a day. Now, if you are ready to do the serious long-term investment, the one-year all-access is the way to go, and I'm going to bring back probably my most popular promo code ever, SM365. Gets you the instant $811 discount on a one-year all-access. Why 811 Because that gets it down to exactly $99 a month, about $3 a day, about a dollar per play. It's a fantastic offer, but you've got to have promo code SM365 to get that one-year all-access for about a dollar per play. Now, once again, figure out what works best for you. Don't have to decide now. You can go check it out on my page. Also, check out the previous best bets. There's a rolling recap of my last 20 best bets each and every day. You can click on each individual game and read the analysis as well to see how I handicap and why I have won consistently for 29 straight seasons as a full-time professional and up over 170 units of profit already this calendar year. Once again, check it out. And don't forget about the daily free plays. I post bonus free plays throughout the week on my page as well, along with those special offers for the All Sports Packages. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free play videos coming up next.